Good morning, Bree Skeckos. Good morning, Mrs. Winkleman. Good morning, Miss Attili. Welcome back to school. Thank you. Today is Tuesday, November 10th, 2020. And for lunch, your option is beefy nachos or a cheese quesadilla with seasoned corn. Yum. Yeah. We have some thank yous to start off with. Miss Winkleman and I first wanted to say thank you to McKinley. Yes. It's been a few days, but she brought us each a Kit Kat one morning and it made for an awesome lunch dessert for her to go with breakfast breakfast for mrs winkleman um but mckinley from miss foster's kindergarten class thank you so much that was so sweet of you and one of mckinley's friends june who is also in miss foster's class made us these cute cards and no. mine says dear miss satilly have a peaceful day and it's got a great picture thank yes. you june and mine says have a peaceful um day as well and i love how she put like smiley faces for the days that were peaceful and then frowny faces are mm -hmm. the days that were not so yes yeah, so 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 cute so thank you so much for making our day gonna go on my door right now very nice. We also wanted to give a great big thank you to um, Xavier and Jaden Christopher and their family and their church. So they had an idea that they wanted to do a service project and they offered to come clean up our grounds outside the playground, the courtyard, all over. And they invited friends from their church. They go to Christ Church of the Valley, which is at Kyrene and Ray. And lots of great helpers came and helped pick up um, leaves and little sticks and just make our school look beautiful. So thank you so much to that wonderful family and to your church. We appreciated it so much. Yes, very much so. We also had somebody that wanted to tell us thank you. This is Hazel and she won a bunt cake at the ice cream social and she went over the weekend and got her bunt cake. She got to pick it out and there she is with it and she said it was delicious and she enjoyed it and wanted to say thank you. And I have a shout out um, to my friend Gabe. He has been working on goal setting and his goal this week was to um, get all of his homework done. And his strategy for being able to do that was to make sure that everything was written in his agenda. And I thought his idea was so great that I wanted to share it with everyone because I'm sure there are so many people out there that could benefit from using their agenda and using it to make sure that all of their homework was done. So Gabe, that was a great idea. You are a great example of responsibility. And what he's holding up there is that he's working this week all week long. He has a deal with his mom that if he meets that that goal he's going to go to Dairy Queen on Friday night oh. so great idea for families too wonderful motivator so thank you for that Gabe all right next up we have another great share this is Miss Fry's class and they have been working on a plant unit where they are growing lima beans so every student in her class has a little baggie it's got a bean in it it's got a wet paper towel to give that bean water and then they make sure every day that they give it light it's got a little bit of dirt in there everything that it needs to be able to grow so they are doing an awesome job with that. Thank you for sharing Miss Fry and to your class. We can't wait to see when they're all grown up. You'll have to send us another picture. <laughs> and we have picture oh, day. Tomorrow, my gosh. Oh, no, today. today. Today's today. Tuesday. Yes. yes. And that's picture makeup day. So hopefully makeup we've got um, some students that are here in person that are gonna be getting their pictures taken. And then of course, we've got families that are um, learning from home that um, can come today as well to get your picture taken. And I just wanted to put out another reminder regarding, I know our Flex families could be here for pictures. I just wanna remind our Flex families, if you are on campus, um, we would love to have you stop by the front office because we have um, tons of different things in our teachers' um, bins um, to deliver to you, like readathon prizes and other kinds of things. So if you happen to be here uh, for picture day and you are a Flex family, please stop by the front office and see if we have anything waiting for you to pick up as well. Yes. And next up, we have a great reminder from one of our student council representatives. Here she is. Hi, I'm Macy, and I'm going to be talking about the Student Council Food Drive. Student Council has started working on promoting our annual Thanksgiving Food Drive for the 2020-2021 school year. The drive will be held during the week of November 9th to November 13th. We are asking our families here at Breezes to help donate various canned goods 
from local families in need during the upcoming holiday seasons. Each grade is responsible for a different category of canned goods. If you have something else that's not specific in your grade level, that's okay. The Resource Center is also looking for cereal and peanut butter. Preschool will bring canned green beans. Kindergarten will bring cream of mushroom soup. First grade will be will bring French fried onions, canned yams, or sweet potatoes. Second grade will bring a bag of marshmallows and a box of stuffing. Third grade will bring boxed mashed potatoes and a can of gravy. Fourth grade will bring cornbread and biscuit mix and canned cranberry. Fifth grade will bring non per um, perceivable dessert mix, cake mix, and pie filling. Thank you for listening and have a peaceful day at recess. Well, thank you so much for that reminder, and we hope that everybody has a peaceful day. So as she shared, um, Student Council Food Drive, there's your reminder. She told you everything that you need to bring, what the Family Resource Center is looking for, and as one more reminder about that, um, Flex Families, you can ship your things from Amazon straight to the Family Resource Center. There is the address, or you can drop them off there as well. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, we have some more great shares from students. This is the life skill of the week, and this is from a Spark student talking about common sense. Hi, I'm Ella in fifth grade in Mrs. Dashe's class. Hi, I'm Gianna in fifth grade in Mrs. Dashe's class. Hi, I'm Addie in fifth grade in Mrs. Dashe's class. We will sh we be showing an example of common sense. I'm done. Gianna is done with her test and Addie is still working. Gianna, you should read a book hey, when Addie. you're done with your test. Hey Addie, guess what? I just I just went to the store with Stephanie, and I bought so much stuff on my credit card, and my credit card's linked to my mom's, and she got so mad at me for no reason. I don't know, just because I spent, like, over $100 doesn't mean you can get mad at me and throw a tantrum tantrum because it's your money. And Gianna, you should not talk while Addie is still taking her test. I'm done. This is an example of not common sense. Be sure to be using common sense when other people are taking tests and not to talk to them. And that's common sense. So much for that. There's their credits rolling. What a great example of common sense, but also a great example of respect, right? So we wanna make sure that we're not doing anything to distract our friends who are trying to work hard. Absolutely. Oh, I gave it away, Miss Swimmerman. I put the slide up there too early. It's That's time okay. to talk about iReady. I know. I've been so excited to be able to share. Yes, you see right there, boys and girls, we had three classes that had 100% participation, uh, not even participation. We had lots of students that were participating. We had some classes that got super, super close at meeting their goal, but we had three classes that did have 100% of their students meet their goal last week. So remember, our goal is everybody in kindergarten and first grade, every single student in your class, we need you to complete, or not complete, I always say that word, pass. We want you to pass at least one lesson, kindergarten and first grade. And then if you're in second, third, fourth, or fifth grade, we are looking for you to pass at least two of those lessons every single week. So last week we looked, and I know we normally do this on Wednesday, but we're not going to be here Wednesday, right? We're going to be celebrating uh, Veterans Day tomorrow. And so we wanted to make sure that we shared um, the outcome of our, our iReady data uh, this week today for sure. So anyways, congratulations to um, Mrs. Ass's class, Ms. Carr's class, and Ms. Bemis's kindergarten students. Way to go. And then we also have our top students. Um, Ms. Satili, I think you have that list. I do. Oh, oh my gosh. Yep. Yes, if you could read those for us, please. Absolutely. So kindergarten celebrating yeah. with 10 lessons passed is Carolyn Whitesides. Congratulations. 
first grade from Miss Asta's first grade class with 23 lessons. Schmook, congratulations. We are proud of you. In second grade with 14 lessons passed, Samya, congratulations. We are proud of you also. And in third grade, uh, she's been in there almost every week, but 34 four lessons this week. Wow. Eliana, congratulations. And then fourth grade um, for Miss Knoppenberg's class, Connor, he had 13 lessons passed. And fifth grade, we have seen his name before, Jason, congratulations. He Thanks. had 12 lessons passed this week. Yes. Well, and I'm going to just give a couple shout outs to the classes that had the most in each grade real quick. Um, kindergarten, Mrs. Jones's class, way to go. You were the top performing class in uh, kindergarten with 43 lessons that you completed. But you know what? Miss Bemis only has half the number of students and she had 41. So watch out for Miss Bemis's class. Also, first grade, shout out to Miss Asta's class um, uh, who had 121 lessons passed. And again, I can't even, um, I can't not say Miss Nelson's class. I know they weren't the top, but they had 114 lessons wow, passed. That's I know, that's amazing. But second grade, Miss Regal's class, congratulations, top second grade class with 84. Um, in third grade, Miss Berger's class had 153 past lessons. Um, but listen to this, there's actually a class that got more than that, if you can even imagine wow. that. In fourth grade, uh, Miss Knoppenberg students, they passed 173 lessons just last week alone. So congratulations wow. to both classes last but not least. Fifth grade, um, Miss Dashay students um, passed 88. So they were the top in fifth grade. So well done, everybody. Yes, great job. We are very proud of you. Well, I think it's time to talk about peace and we're celebrating peace today. We kind of celebrate every day, Ms. Swinkleman, but it's hat day or visor day for us. We have our visors on like we do every day, but everybody else got to wear hats today to celebrate our 45th day of peace. Yay! Yay! Awesome. Well, let's, speaking of peace, I'm hoping that yesterday was a peaceful day. So, Ms. Satilli, think about Monday. The start of the week was Monday a peaceful day at Breesis. Well, Mondays are Mondays sometimes, and everybody makes mistakes, right? Right? And so we did have some Monday mistakes, okay. but I was so proud of the people that made those mistakes because right away, I mean, instantly in one minute, they said, oh, I know I shouldn't have done that and mm -hmm. I need to make it better and I need to make up for it or I need to apologize or I need to fix it. And they found a way to fix it. So oh. with their problem solving, I think I am going to call <gasps> today a peaceful day. Oh, Congratulations, Brisa Scott. That's those, terrific. Yes. You rarely do that, Ms. Tilly. So, yes, okay. but well, I think they you. deserve it because I was so proud of them that by the time I even was able to talk to them about it, the problem was already solved. So they and did a great job solving their own problems. That's awesome. All yes. right. Well, then at this time, was that such a great news? Um, if you can please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. And let's have a peaceful day. Bye, Brisa Skekos.